Welcome hey. back. I just had to show this. Listen to the most annoying menu music ever. I don't know why the game developers thought that was a good idea. What's funny is that due to that theme song, my mom never let me play video games in like the living room for the longest time. Because <laughs> I went to go outside to go play and I had the game just running. And so that pause screen was on the entire time. It's like, Hunter, never leave that game on when I'm alone in the room because I will just destroy the console. <laughs> I figured I'd get one of the treasures. So see, collect treasures to activate games for transfer to your Game Boy Advance. But anyway, yeah, uh, speaking of the whole uh, Four Swords Adventure, I remember from last episode I mentioned it because, you know, you can play it Game Boy Advance style. Uh, that would just make, made me really, really mad playing with my friends. So I would go to my friend Daniel's house and it'd be me, him, Mitchell, and it was either Finn or Nicholas. I can't remember which one. But we would all just be playing the game and be like, all right, I just need you to throw a bomb over here and we're dead. <laughs> Isn't that any co-op game ever, though? I mean, geez. I, I don't know. Like, I, oh, I... So, new concept. Let me grab... Mm, you die because you interrupted me. So these trap doors, we can't just open by hitting. We have to slam an enemy into them and then that's how we get let in. But now the puzzles start getting hard. I mean, you could, I was about to say, you know, you could just be simple and go, we don't, damn it, I have to dash immediately after I land. You don't have to do an MLG. No, I have to. I have to show people that I'm good at video games. Yes. By doing this progressively, you'll show them that you are great at video games. Fine. Yay. I thought you were going to do it again. Yes. So what happens? You, have so. to, you have to hit this. And then what happens is it comes back down. Oh, okay. I thought it was just going to go up and like, I missed it. <laughs> No, and now, now for some tricky platforming. Da, da, da! So, how you guys doing? I don't know why we ask that so much, but we do. Yeah, because we care about you guys. So, um, Oof. we don't want you to fall flat on your face like these horrifying dinosaur things that I'm going to just slam into the ground with reckless abandon. So, uh, I don't know if you saw it, and I don't know if you care, but no. did you ever see the? Uh, <laughs> I, it came out just a couple days ago. Okay. Uh, the Beauty and the Beast, uh, trailer? The live-action trailer? Surprisingly enough, I actually did watch it. And what'd you think? I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, okay, I did watch the live-action Cinderella. Hated it. It's just because, I don't know. You could either do really good on a live-action remake of a Disney film, or you could do absolutely horrible. Cinderella was just the latter of the two. Because it's just like, eh, I mean, like, there was nothing really to do. Like, because it... Dang it! What's, what's on the other side? Uh, I don't remember actually. I think it might be a treasure, but we'll just check anyway. But um. Oh yeah, no, I forgot. I'm supposed to go this way. But, My bad. Yeah, I know there. The Beauty and the Beast trailer, though, there wasn't a lot Giant of. Giant eye crystal time. Or you know the Mario Sunshine boss monster. What? Isn't that the Mario Sunshine uh, logo right there? Yeah. Oh, I. Yeah, that's a little Easter egg. His eye is the logo for the um, the health bar. I just now remember, did Mario Sunshine come out at this point? Yeah, Mario Sunshine was one of the launch titles for uh, the GameCube. I can hardly remember. I think this one came out like six months late. Six, okay, what? Six months later! Because, like, I remember my first GameCube games were this, Pikmin 2, and Luigi's Mansion. Uh, those, surprisingly enough, were my first as well. And Mario Sunshine. Oh, but uh, back to the live action Disney. Sorry that I'm bringing this up, but it's, it, 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 I found it just stupid. And really funny. This guy wanna, actually liked the live action Cinderella. I want to so. get your take on this. Uh, oh! They're making a live action Little Mermaid. Because I mean, why not just keep on using the? Let's, just keep. Let's just hold, hold on. This guy. This guy has something to say about that. What do you have to say about that, good friend? That's what he thinks about it. It's like why? Because they can. Also, I'm cheating. Whoa, game freaked out for a little bit. The, ga the game's upset that I'm cheating. Oh, I almost fell off. Uh, 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 I need to find give a, me big, a big enemy. Find give me a big enemy. Find a duper. <laughs> find a duper? Hey, where's the duper? He's right next to the pooper in the scooper. <laughs> just imagine a guy. Oh, okay, uh, there's, there's some dupers. I imagine just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine that too sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, seeing him made me vomit a little bit in my mouth. <laughs> But yeah, they're making a live-action uh, Little Mermaid. Damn it, damn it. Ah. No, no, you're cool. 
but I heard that news and I was like, why? And they're like, well, we just want to milk the cash cow a little bit more. Is that <laughs> Disney came out with an official statement saying, we just wanted to milk our cash cow a little bit more. Just be like, <laughs> milking the cash cow. It's like a literal cow that spits out cash. Hey, Blastoise, how you doing? Um, oh, did we ever talk about that? What? Well, I mean, kind of. I don't Jeez. know if we did. The new uh, Pokemon stuff. Yeah, uh, at this time, we're filming this right at the very tail end of May. And um, there's going to be a new announcement on June 2nd. Future Chris, if you want to put up whatever that announcement is, because I'm sure by the time this comes out, uh, we will have already heard what the announcement is. But uh, I'm liking it so far. I mean, I'm calling bullshit that the Aloha region is the only area we're oh, going to. Oh, it's not. To. There is no way. Unless unless the region is like F five islands, like, you know, actual Hawaii. All yeah. right. Way to be a dick here. Well, do you have islands. to kill him? Well, I want to because he's. Well, yeah, because he's blocking my way. Oh, he is? Like, you can't get past him at all? Mm -mm, oh, can't. there we go. Oh, well, now you can kill him. But anyway, yeah, when I saw it, uh, okay, I already know what your answer is, but I want you to tell the audience. Who do you want? Uh, I'm leaning either towards Rowlet or Litten. And is it because Litten is lit? No, I don't understand that definition. Lit as in, like, just cool Like and, marijuana joints? Uh, yes. Because you know how, um, them people who smoke the weeds are... Oh, they, they inject the weeds. They inject the weeds. I mean, we... Into wee their butts. Into their wee weeds! I mean, you gotta... It's just like the cocaines. You gotta... You, you gotta... You gotta do all the smoke. So this is a battle ring where we have to fight enemies continuously for 60 seconds. I'm just going to pick up one of these columns, swing your partner around and around, then hurl him down into the ground. That, that's how swing dancing works, right? Speaking of, uh, I know I'm dropping ship here again. Like, I've been <laughs> jumping ship the entire episode. But it just reminds <laughs> me... We'll just call that the episode Jumping Ship. Um, but did you ever have to, like, in high school or... No, it was in, in middle school, where you were required to uh, take square dancing? Uh, we had to, do, okay, this is gonna sound really weird, we had to do it in coupleation with something called President's Day. What? Where we had to basically be, dress up and memorize like a speech from a famous U.S. president. Uh, I was John F. Kennedy and I had to dance with the superintendent's daughter. Like the superintendent over the entire school. So no pressure. Uh, and also she wasn't exactly the nicest person at the time. Shout out to Christina if you're watching this. Uh, if you are, sorry. <laughs> but... Yeah, so, yes and no. And Wait, then we get money for like, that. Like, what do you mean? Like, you, like, you had to... Like, we had to literally go in front of, like, uh, our parents and the rest of the school and then, like, stand up, say who we were, and then, like, recite part of a speech. Then so you're gonna have to break the door. Oh, never mind. Nope, I had to get a wee-wee because I want to go in here because I, I don't know if so, I have enough... So uh, you had to memorize the speech and then square dance yeah, during the speech? Why? No, not, no, not during the speech. That would have been great, though. <laughs> My name is John F. Kennedy. Ask not what your country can do, but swing your partner round and round and... <laughs> I hated square dancing. No, don't worry. I did, too. That was Because it was bad. like... the Like, why? There was no point for it. Because, like, whenever... Uh, like, we would... Well, Oops. Well, back into the Unithorns. Another thing that was kind of cool about the Unithorns and also awful at the same time is uh, their layer changes with every level you go to. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so like, what, what oh, happens? I got you tried to say something positive. Well, because, I mean, I remember getting to this layer and it always freaked me out when I was younger. Oh, yeah, don't worry. It did for me, too, because they're always oh, well. chasing you. So, uh... Oh, I was about to say, I can't remember now. Something about swing dancing. Oh, yeah, I just hated it. A okay. Lot. <laughs> Good because... to know. Did you like swing dancing? Let us know in the comments below. Or don't. I mean, you um, don't have to. I remember there was this one time, though. Like, uh... No! We were doing, uh... What was it? Swing dancing? It was square dancing. It was it's, the it's the same thing. No, it's not. They're both awful. Well, yeah, they're both awful, but swing dancing is more, like, more freeform. And then it's also can be music of just any kind of genre. Wow. Okay. Square dancing. Oh, I forgot this puzzle. What's this puzzle? We have to keep lifting up the heads and the gems just randomly under one. That's not a puzzle, really. That's just <laughs> annoyance. It's like the Viridian City garbage can thing. Pretty much. Well, was that Viridian City or? Oh, my bad. That was, uh, not Saffron. No. My poke. I know the Gen 1 are killing me right now. Uh, Viridian. It was Lieutenant Surge. I know that. Oh, oh found, found it. it. What was it? Boop. Saffron? No. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna check real quick. I'm Are the check. only two towns you know that? I'm gonna check. Uh, 
keep the audience entertained while I look this up. Okay. Uh, old McDonald had a farm and he just sold children. That's what Old McDonald did, right? Okay, I found it. It's I was close. It's Vermilion. Yeah. Vermilion right. City, Viridian City. There was too many. Okay, anyway. But all you kept saying was, is it Viridian? Is it Saffron? Is it Viridian? Is it Saffron? You I knew it started with a V and it had a weird name because I knew it wasn't Lavender. Damn it, I punched him twice. Well, I just paid for two pieces of garlic when I only needed one. Damn it, no! No! <laughs> we're leaving. We're going over here. Uh, are you almost done? Yeah, I think we're at the boss. Oh, well, we can keep on going. We will fight the boss, and then it will be time for the next episode. Wait, what's in that thing, though? Uh, another gem, but I've got enough to open the door. Oh, okay. Yeah! Yeah! So yeah. in this one, I don't know what to call this thing. An abomination against nature? Yeah, I'm gonna go with an abomination against nature. That was disgusting. So what do you gotta do? You just keep punching it? Yeah. What do you do? You just lick it? America. And then he gets mad, and he has Scyther Claws. Rule number one, I can't kill, kill anybody. anybody. Rule, Rule number two, I can't, can't kill, kill anybody, anybody else. Rule, Rule number three, I can't, can't make, make anyone, anyone fall in love with the dead. <laughs> so for those of you who would not know it, we've been watching YouTube poops recently. And, um... Because I had never watched it before. They're fucking hilarious. Like, I, when I was younger, seeing YouTube poop, I was like, this is really stupid. But then, you know, I mean... Growing up and then realizing that, huh, this is kind of humor that I get fueled on. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid, but I get fueled off of it, so does that mean you're stupid? No, Patrick. Is he- wait, is he- wait, I confused. What is it? I, I confused? The, I'm just gonna leave the arena. The stupid I'm one. Gone. I'm gone. The joke that uh, pa uh, Patrick is trying to refer to, the joke that Hunter is trying to refer to is where Patrick uh, and Spongebob adopt the uh, little clam thing. And Patrick in the original episode goes, What's the matter? Is he stupid? And SpongeBob just goes, No, Patrick, he's a baby. But in the YouTube poop and it makes us laugh way too much, it's, What's the matter? Is he stupid? No, Patrick, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. So in the next episode of the Dynamic Duo, we'll talk more about YouTube poops. Yep, all the And poop. fight the boss for the area. That's how short this game is. Wait, we're already there? Yeah, there's only two levels, and then there's the area boss. No. Repeat that four times, and that's the whole game. So we're going to finish this potentially in, like, maybe less than 20 episodes. Yeah. Jeez. It's a short game. That's the biggest criticism people had with this game, is it was way too short. So hold on. And remember, be truly dying. So anyway, Hunter, any other parting comments, or, uh... Anything A, B, C, C, it's easy. Yes. One, one, two, two three. <laughs> and we're going to get sued by Sony. Because, <laughs> Wait, it's, why? because it's their song. That Sony owns that song? I think so. I thought that was public use. Nope. nope. Well, be truly be dynamic, dynamic, guys. guys. And uh, yeah. Bye. See you in the next episode. You tried. See you in the next episode. Bye bye. Bye. You know how, like, uh, Why, who thought this was a good idea? Who woke up and went, You know, because they're Japanese. You know, we have Kirby's Epic Yarn, but what we don't have is two penguins on a skateboard spinning as they fought on a mountain with yarn water these with spears.